All right, here we go. It's Monday. Welcome to CBS News Minnesota Morning Update. I'm Jason DeRussia. Good to have you with us. Hope you had a nice weekend. Celebrated mom appropriately. She deserved it. My kids wrote, uh, so of course I bought the card, right? My kids picked out a gift for their mother, for my wife. And they, uh, they wrote on the card, Sam wrote like, thank you for everything you do which is nice for us, very nice. And then Seth wrote, you give me, you gave me everything. Whoa, it's pretty nice, right? I mean, did she really give them everything? Like, I feel like I did some of this, but anyway, happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Uh, we are under a next weather alert today, and I just wanna show you the radar, Riley's here, the, the, the live radar is frozen right now. Yeah, having some computer uh, but that's fine. issues. Whatever. But, uh, like, let's just talk through it. It's no big deal. Don't worry about the computer. Yeah, yeah. Still having that severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern parts of uh, the state. There, you see, right around Montevideo, getting some of the uh, hail that's been uh, potentially moving through the storm. It's been moving pretty fast too, about uh, 70, 75 miles per hour to the north. And northeast, we're going to be watching you closely. We do have a slight risk of severe weather, though, for today. Um, as uh, we'll be watching, that's why the next weather alert is on. Most likely here in the Twin Cities, could see some of these storms clip our area between about 9 11 and then later into the uh, afternoon. A few storms possible, too. So we'll be keeping you updated on that one. Getting an engineer in here, too, to fix these uh, computers as yeah. well. That's fine. We'll get that taken care of. No big deal. That's good. Thanks, Riley, for that update. Just want to let you know to be ready for this today. It's hitting some parts of the state, but with this sort of crazy weather we're having this week, we've got a 90 on the board on the seven day forecast. We have some 80s. You know, I, I think it was winter a week ago. Um, so this unsettled weather has us asking you how you feel about skipping spring. Did we have spring this year? We had like one day of spring. This happens here every once in a while. And by every once in a while, I mean, it seems like it happens every year. We get like one week of spring, one week of fall. Do we only have two seasons in Minnesota now? Well, you know, there's always uh, two seasons in Minnesota. It's winter and winter and what, Ron? We'll always have three of them. Three seasons? Road construction. Road construction. That's right. Winter and road construction. <laughs> uh, let us know what you think. Do you wish we had spring or is spring overrated? Overrated. Let's go right to summer. Uh, 90s in the forecast this week. Very good. Okay, updating you on this search for a missing University of Minnesota student. Uh, that will continue today, but as time goes on, you grow more concerned about what happened with Austin Redereth. He's 19 years old. From Woodbury, last seen early Sunday morning at East River Road in Franklin Avenue. He's wearing blue t-shirt, dark shorts. That's about all BCA and the U of M police are sharing, but they say they're concerned for his safety. So if you've seen Austin, uh, call the police. Arson investigators in Wisconsin are saying that somebody targeted the headquarters of an anti-abortion rights group. Madison investigators believe it was a Molotov cocktail that started a fire at the Wisconsin Family Action offices in Madison early Sunday morning. This group lobbies against abortion rights. They are against same-sex marriage. Uh, there is a spray-painted message. If abortions aren't safe, then you aren't either. That was sprayed on the building. So uh, police looking for the person or people responsible for this. Senator Chuck Schumer outlining, outlining a vote that's planned in Congress this week. I think a lot of people, as they uh, saw that the Supreme Court poised to overturn Roe v. Wade, Congress could protect abortion by law. Chuck Schumer wants this to happen. And so there will be a vote. Uh, the senator said he doesn't expect this to pass, but he does want the public to know where lawmakers stand and make them vote up or down. There's a nationwide shortage of baby formula, and it's not getting better. Within the last month, the out-of-stock rate, they kind of track how much of this is out of stock, 31%. Six states, including uh, states surrounding us, Iowa and the Dakotas, more than half of baby formula supplies were completely sold out. CVS and Target both saying they are limiting how much formula families can buy. Lots of things going on here. As always, supply chain issues are being blamed. But there was an FDA shutdown of a manufacturing plant in Michigan. There was a recall, so all of that 
uh, compounding the problem. And whenever there's a shortage, you know, there's also panic buying that happens as well. So all of that combining. Gasoline prices up again. The average from AAA is 404, and I think that's lagging. I'm seeing 409, 410 most places in the Twin Cities. It is 13 cents up from a week ago. AAA is saying it's summer. There's more demand. People are taking road trips. People are driving back to work. All of that is happening. And oil prices are up as well. Minnesota Wild couldn't get it done. Game four, a lot of missed opportunities. First period, the Wild only had like, I don't know, four or five shots, it seemed. One went in. Uh, but then it was all St. Louis. 5-2 was the score last night. So that's, you know, that's fine. We, we stole one on their home ice. They stole one on ours. And so we're starting over. Now it's best of three. Game five tomorrow night in St. Paul. Stretch of First Avenue could be renamed Prince, Roger Nelson, Prince Rogers Nelson Way today. A proposal for that name change set to be recommended to the Minneapolis City Council for approval tonight. Uh, this is a group that is also bringing that huge 100 foot mural of Prince to downtown Minneapolis. So really trying to create a sort of a district, an area where people go to celebrate Prince. Which, I mean, who would be opposed? Feedback on the change has been positive for city leaders and council members. I don't know if you've seen these kind of t-shirt giveaways that the Minnesota Twins have set up at Target Field. They got local artists to design four different t-shirts and for one Tuesday home game each month, the Twins are going to give these away. So let me show you the first one. Yeah, so here are the four. Aren't they cool? I like all of them. I want all of these shirts. Uh, the first one is created by Alexander Jones, who talked with our Jeff Wagner about the design. The piece I created is kind of based on the that old school Minnie and Paul logo. Um, each one of us was presented with three different twins logos, and we got to pick one and go with it. Um, and I love drawing people and kind of vintage style stuff. Uh, that's kind of what inspires me. And so it, it felt like a perfect fit to do the Minnie and Paul logo. Um, and kind of reimagined it in my own way. So it's more home plate shaped, less Minnesota shaped. Um, definitely kind of my, my take on it. It's cool, isn't it? Jones' shirt is going to be given out tomorrow to the first 5,000 fans who show up for the game. They got to sell these too. They're great. All of those shirts are terrific. Let's get back to our talker today. It is weather. We're talking about uh, the skipping of spring. How do you feel about it? Holly says, I'm ready for spring. It always brings flowers and they make everything so beautiful. I also have a tree that only blooms once a year in our yard, so I love watching those colors come for light, come to life. Thanks, Holly. Here's Matt. As long as we have some sun, it's fine. You can skip it. It's constant clouds that can make life a challenge in our great state. Agreed, Matt. The sun kind of heals all, doesn't it? It's going to be kind of a cloudy, rainy week with those hot, hot uh, temperatures. Thank you. Here's Juliana. Hi, Juliana. I feel we missed out on my favorite season as all things come back to life. But hey, better temps are good by me, right? That's the trade-off. We we don't want to linger in winter, that's for sure. Every season has its time. Thanks, Juliana. Here's uh, Diana. I want spring. Let's me anticipate more flowers and warmth. Yard work without having to do it yet. Yep, that's sort of what spring does. You get that time where you have to wait. Thank you. Here's Todd. Spring will probably be back. Long-term forecast looks like 60s for next week. That is true. That is true. All right, good stuff. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll have news updates throughout the day. Uh, next weather updates as well. Riley's watching uh, our next weather alert as those storms kind of move through Minnesota. So thanks for hanging out with us. We'll do this again tomorrow morning. Have a great day.